What is it, magical people? Mandy the Mage here, and I am back reacting to some awesome builds I found on reddit.com r slash Valheim. Today, I have 10 awesome builds to show you, so if you guys are ready, be sure to hit that like button, and you might as well subscribe while you're here. But with that said, coming in at number 10, we have the bridge at the end of the world, hosted by user Tommy Knocker. So here, just as the name implies, uh, it appears that Tommy um, has built himself a bridge that extended all the way to the edge of the map. And this has always been a question ever since starting Valheim that's been itching at the back of my head, and that's what exactly you will find. And Tommy here is planning on answering our questions. So as he's going, it looks like the waves are just like sliding right off. What is this? What is this? So the world of Valheim is flat. Flat Earth confirmed. Thank you for putting to rest that uh, that excruciating question I had. Because I knew for sure that I would never journey to the edge of Valheim. But this guy went ahead and did it for me. That was that to user Tommy Knocker. Awesome build, dude. And you know, for number nine, we had to do a follow-up. Once again, from user Tommy Knocker. He actually posted another video showing him updating the bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and show that off for number nine here. So here it looks like he's built an awning, an entire platform over it, has himself a bonfire and a portal there established now. So then he actually just has a nice layer of, uh, of coverage going there. Almost like the original design better where the waves are like crashing against it. And there's his homies, I guess. But yeah, and then it looks like it extends. Wow, dude. <laughs> that gives me anxiety just looking at it. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys have heights. This kind of makes this kind of freaks me out a little bit. But awesome work once again from user Tommy Knocker. Coming in at number eight, we have this Draugr village that was converted into an archery range slash village arena type thing. This one was posted by user Taylor Megabytes. So here it looks like they have this archery ring set up and then they have the Draugr spawn again. So they just have infinite entrails. If you guys have played Valheim, you know that the yummiest sausages come from like zombie entrails, dude. Trust me. It's all that flavor hidden inside of there. Regardless, this is an awesome build you got going on here. This is a smart way of going about doing it. Just kind of create a perimeter around a, a Draugr village and then from there you can kind of do your work. It looks like they have this tower, and then what is <laughs> what is going? Oh, so he trapped a, he trapped a great orf there to farm his uh, his blocking, I guess. Cool stuff, man. This is a this is a great looking arena. You can even do like little battles inside of here. Yeah, like look, swordsmanship. But uh, yeah, that has been some awesome work from user Taylor Megabytes. So then coming at number seven, we have the Mjolnir Monument, hosted by user Flokiheim. Here it looks like they chose to build this on the mountain. I think that's a good choice. Very atmospheric, very grand feeling. This area just feels very majestic, very Skyrim. And if you're looking at that, it, it looks pretty solid. I'm almost curious. It, it looks like it's made of stone, almost something like that. I'm just going to go ahead and replay some stuff here. Yeah, look, they have like fire on the sides. I don't know how they got the crows swarming all about there, but that's just an extra level of detail. And then I guess those are bonfires they have stacked inside of there. But all in all, pretty epic work. Shout that user, Floki. So then coming in at number six, we have the built-in boat dock pyramid, hosted by user Swoleguy21. So if you see here, he has this kind of elegant structure where he has a bunch of boss heads hung, all around beautiful, intricate, layered detail work going on here. That's my favorite type of stuff, stuff that feels stacking, stuff that feels uh, woven in and intricate. But uh, this is apparently where this man just parks his boats, because, you know, a big flex, I guess. So already you see this complex uh, network going on here, where he has a bunch of different boats, and then chests, some foodstuffs, all that good stuff, and then you go up, and then it progressively gets more and more base-like. But this is a video in and of itself on YouTube. It's actually four minutes, so I'm not going to show the entire thing. Instead, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this exact video so you guys can watch all of it yourselves excellent work from user swole guy 21 so then coming in at number five we have the east asian inspired base posted by user tijuana so the video starts off by showing this intricate looking swan like structure made out of wood and then you pan in and you see this beautiful castle like structure I'm very Japanese inspired, very East Asian inspired, just massive. And once again, in the plains, because you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna build an intricate castle dedicated to how baller you are, you're gonna do it in the plains. I respect that. But now it looks like we're heading in from the docks. Oh man. I can't imagine what, what sort of crazy support networks you have to build for, for stuff like this, for builds like these. Oh wow. So you have a whole entire dragon fireplace in the center, the hearth. And then of course, naturally we have the throne room. Because because every great hall needs a great throne room sitting on top of it. And we're heading back out. We see this, uh, this dragon egg on a pedestal here. Looks like this internal like courtyard area. And then we sweep back in to see the cooking stations. All that good stuff. See a portal there. A portal over there. So this must kind of be like the way station thing going on. 
I think I see some crafting tables. Yeah, more crafting tables over here. Oh, and then we have our, our farm here. Beautiful farm. Beautiful square farm. But uh, yeah, excellent work once again from Reddit user Tijuana. So then coming in at number four, we have the Spooky Swamp Base, hosted by user Cloven Goat Lord. So already the choice to put it in the swamp at nighttime, specifically this video set at nighttime, elevates the spook factor like a million percent. And then you see everything laced with green torches. I need to find out how to make that in my own game. Green torches, what an aesthetic, dude. It's nowhere near Halloween yet, so why do you have to flex this hard? Oh, and it actually looks like underneath the base he has the summoning station uh, for the bone mass boss. And he has an intricate staircase coming all around it. Oh, dude, dude, that is so metal. And then I think you can probably see it from, uh, from the upstairs area. I got some stone staircases leading up. So there it looked like he had it supported with some trees. So that makes sense. That's how he got it this tall. But I guess in that pit down below, you would see the eyes of the skeleton that summons bone mass. Let's see if we get a shot of it. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Heavy metal. You love to see it. I love to see it. I love that aesthetic. Very gothic. And I, this looks like his bedroom and his throne. Excellent location. I mean, I will say the swamps are ugly. Not very good views that you'll get, but hey. You know what I mean? I won't sweat it. <laughs> this build kind of makes up for all that. But uh, yeah, amazing work. This makes me want to build my own base in the swamp. Good job, user Cloven Goat Lord. And then coming in at number three, posted by user Illuminated Mango, we have this awesome sky castle that he built here with his wife. Um, so first things first, it gets 10 out of 10 just for the power of love factor. Uh, you love to see it. You love to see uh, gamer couples teaming up and building things together. But this is, what is that? a curious looking site. Uh, I don't have the f Maybe there's a natural brick structure that was floating, so then he built it on top of that. I don't know how that's supposed to work. But then he has this portal here that leads to, it looks like, the inside of this uh, floating sky castle. Oh, dude, I want him to open the door. I want to see what it looks like. I still can't tell that you're floating yet, but I still think it's, it's a beautiful... Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Oh, God. There it is. There's a good shot of that. I don't know how, but I wish it was almost like more, you know, more floating out into the middle of the sky. Uh, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers, and this is already awesome. I don't know how to, how he did this. I don't know what sort of sorcery this dude did with his wife, but shouts out to Illuminated Mango. Coming into number two, we have a Minas Tir Tir Tirith inspired castle posted by user Illarine. Already, I'm amazed by the stonework. Um, you know, the level of detail. I'll never get over, I'll never get over the level of quality that people are deciding to bring into these builds, because I can't imagine how long this took. <laughs> Look, like it looks like almost a grand cathedral or something like that. These beautiful arched windowways, these arches coming above the staircase, and this almost, is that is that like a, what's the word for that? Oh, that's gonna kill me. Chandelier, that's it, that's it. Beautiful chandelier structure. This is kind of like a proper castle, uh, which makes this feel more like a, a, a knight medieval game than like a, a Viking game, but I don't mind that at all. Awesome feel. Is that a throne? <laughs> yep, there he is in his throne. The raven throne. Hell yeah, dude. That is baller. Oh, man. And then you see the top sort of uh, intricate dome structure they got going on there. I think there's a hole in there. Let's smoke out, because I think you'd have to have that. But yeah, uh, awesome wood braided structures. You have these iron gate walls right up there. Beautiful work from user Illarine. And then coming in at number one, we have Stony Point posted by user Original Traveler. Now much like another one earlier in the list, this one's uh, a whole YouTube video that's about five minutes long. So I'll also be linking that video in the description down below along with this Reddit post. So be sure to check that out as well so you can get a better detailed look on what this person has going. But you come in, you have their gates and then what they call the troll guard towers. Already big and beautiful work, very ambitious. Looks like this is the black forest biome they're in. Uh, lovely like open integrated sort of, I don't know, feel. Inner workshop and library. And then you have their windmill going, their outer workshop. This is lovely. This feels a little bit modern architecture, like it's very nature. -o There's some phrase for it that a smarter person who went to archaeology school would know, but that I don't know. <laughs> but you know what I mean. This is that that's the fancy word I would use to describe this. Oh dude, is there a way you can get that? Like it looks like he has like the vining around the wood. I don't know if that's even a possible thing you can do in this game, but it just looks so cool and intricate. And then here he has like his little, I don't know, his little like, kitchen area. I think his uh, trophy's talking to him there. Oh, I see. So he has it set up on a bunch of stones as the foundation. Awesome. 
And then he has the little dragon crown centering around his bonfire. You love to see that. But yeah, man, all around amazing work from user original traveler. Be sure to give that video on YouTube some love there. But with all that said, it looks like we've come to the end of the video. If you guys like these builds, be sure to let me know in the comment sections down below. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, you might as well subscribe. With all that said, I've been Manny the Mage, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.